What's up everyone? This is Sporty Spence 17 bringing you another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the history of Lowry Marketing. On the deck, kick to Levine. Over to Marketing. That's a three. And it's oh, good. Give me the hat. Everyone knows on this channel probably by now that I'm a huge Lowry Marketing fan. So I wanted to just go through all the teams that he's been on and just discuss what he did throughout his career and how awesome he is, I guess, too. All right. So he is the Son of Finnish basketball players Pika and Rika, I don't know if I said that right, Markadin. And he has a younger brother who's playing soccer or football. Uh, his name is Aero Markadin. He was born in southern Finland, which is very beautiful from all the photos that I've seen. Little did Markadin know that he's going to become a very shining star in Utah. Larry Markkinen was a five-star recruit, and he committed to the University of Arizona. ESPN wrote that he could potentially be a one-and-done which means you play one year of college and then you go straight into the NBA. Recently in an interview with Draymond Green, Marketing mentioned that he was planning on multiple years at Arizona, but as the season went on, he started performing very well and decided to declare for the NBA draft in 2017. His career high in college was 30 points. He was selected to the third All-American team. Arizona finished number four in the AP poll with Marketing leading the way to the Pac-12 championship. Sadly, Arizona lost in the Sweet 16 to Xavier by two points. Markkinen was drafted number seven overall to the Minnesota Timberwolves, but then was traded away to the Chicago Bulls in exchange for Jimmy Butler. This was the same year that Donovan Mitchell and Jason Tatum were drafted. In Markkinen's rookie debut game, he scored 17 points. My favorite number, by the way. In January 2018, Markkinen passed Hanno Matola as the career-leading scorer among NBA players from Finland. He was named to the All-NBA Rookie Team, as well as the fastest player to reach 100 career three-pointers, which he did in 41 games. He ended his rookie season leading the Bulls in rebounds with 7.5 rebounds per game and fourth in scoring with 15.2 points per game, which is pretty good for a rookie. In his second season, he only played 52 games because he missed a lot due to health issues. But in the games, he averaged 18.7 points per game and nine rebounds per game, which is a very good improvement from his first season. His sophomore season was a success. Things were looking up for the finisher in his third season. He had 35 points in his third season debut against the Charlotte Hornets. I don't know how good the Charlotte Hornets were, but the Chicago Bulls weren't very good either at that time. He wasn't progressing as much as the Bulls would have liked in his third season and into his fourth season. But also, the coaching wasn't that great. They didn't really know how to use marketing because they had Zach Levine as the first option. He was kind of pushed aside to the second or third option, which eventually led to them training for Nikola Vukovic from the Orlando Magic. This made Larry Markkinen become a bench player, and his last season with the Chicago Bulls, he only averaged 13.6 points per game, which has been his career low. During the 2021 free agency season, the Bulls signed and trade Larry Markkinen to the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavs were in search of a three-point wing shooter, again, not a first option player, but Markkinen took it. In his first game with the Cavaliers, he only had 10 points. He did score a season-high 31 points in overtime against the Nuggets that year. He played 61 games in the short season due to COVID and averaged 14.8 points and 5.7 rebounds per game, yet his three-point shooting went down to 35%. Just two years prior, he was shooting 40% from three-pointer, so something just wasn't right. Go to 2022 in the EuroLeague. Lowry Markkinen had a huge game against Croatia, helping his team get to the quarterfinals. He had 43 points, nine rebounds, and three assists in that game. This game took place 11 days after he just he had been traded to the Utah Jazz. Donovan Mitchell was traded away for Lowry Markkinen, Colin Sexton, Ochai Abaji, and uh, three first round picks, I believe. Was Larry reborn or was this just a phase? He averaged 28 points per game in the Euro tournament and was 54% from the field. Lowry, the finisher marketing, was putting basketball world on notice. Was Cleveland scratching their heads at this moment since they just traded him away? Probably not, but later on in the season they might be. This was the first time Finland made the Eurobasket quarterfinals since 1967. Nobody expected Larry marketing to be an all-star, but Will Hardy, the new jazz coach, did. He told them, you're going to be the first option and we need you to play how you did in Eurobasket. Jazz fans were put on notice. Larry Markkinen's third game as a Jazz man, he scored 31 points. Not two. He led the Jazz to a 10-3 start to the season that nobody was expecting, especially here in Utah. Everyone thought the Jazz were going to be tanking for a 2023 first round 
lottery pick. But here we are. We're in the playoff race now. We're trying to get a playoff spot. And on January 5th, 2023, day after my birthday, he scored a career high 49 points against the Houston Rockets. It was a really good birthday gift. Thank you, Laurie. <laughs> He's averaging 25.7 points per game and 8.6 rebounds. And he also is the first NBA All-Star born in a Nordic country. A few weeks later, it was announced that he'd become an All-Star starter. The first one since Karl Malone. And Karl Malone hasn't played for the Jazz since the early 2000s. The Jazz are currently fighting for a position in the NBA playoffs, something that no one expected to happen for prob except for probably the Jazz players because they've been hard fighting for that spot this whole year. Larry Marketing is a very special player. He's a crucial player for the future for the Jazz, and we love him here in Utah. We're sorry we had to steal him from Finland, but I think that he's making a lot of money. Uh, he can go visit Finland in the summer if he wants. I'm very excited that he's on the team. All my videos pretty much mention how much I love him. I'm very jazzed that he's on the team. Anyway, it's been Sporty Sports bringing you another video make sure to like and subscribe and give me your thoughts about live marketing down below i know you finished people are watching this probably uh thank you again for giving us live marketing anyway hope you guys have a good rest of the day and we're all excited for the playoffs